I do feel that when we stop thinking in terms of a line, getting somewhere, the outcome of, if only I had, and really do start thinking in terms of the circle, of the wheel, and this comes directly from my work with the tarot and the mandalas that come from my painting Phoenix Arise, it's all about this gathering of the wheel, sitting in the library. It's very important in domestic space because the library is a place that says, listen, you don't draw a line in a library and say, I'm for those guys and against those guys. Those are the good authors, those are the bad authors. You realize that the conversation about being human super, in a sense, exceeds anything you could actually nail down. You'd say, well, it's a much more interesting conversation than that. And that's where I think a sense of theater comes in handy. That's why Shakespeare is so helpful. Because you start to say, well, wait a minute, we're all always embodying not just one side of the question, but the entire question, like a multifaceted jewel. And when you understand that, you do think more like an actor. You think, oh, not, oh, he's the villain of the piece. It's almost like, well done, your villainy is quite convincing because your villainy is forcing me to be more heroic. I keep wanting you to change, but I realize that's not your job. You're Richard III. You give me the opportunity to change. Thank you very much. You know, we start to honor that it's not so fixed. It's not a religious and pious or spiritual hierarchical relationship now. It's the round table. It's that we each are bringing in unique capacity, unique character. This is why it's important to really honor the fact that whether it's the ancients, the indigenous, the, the, the elders, the, 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 or people of, you know, from all these different religions, traditions, we're all on this, and people who don't have a, a sense of God, they even call themselves atheists, but you start talking, you go, wow, everyone is vibrating with this sense of we have to tell a different story. And that's why for me, it is the library that starts to say, we are each woven of this living library. This is what the DNA shows us scientifically, where we all go back to one woman, which is really beautiful. I like to think of that as Eve. In other words, that there really is a story of that, that has been this journey outward onto this sphere that went into all these territories, all these lives. And in a way, to stay close to the earth makes it impossible to ask questions that once you leave, you know, you can't draw, drill a hole through a sacred entity. You would not do that. But once you throw off, oh, there's no sacredness to that mountain, you can go right through that puppy. And you have to look at that as layering, not as who was the good guy, who was the bad guy, to finally understand this sense of, no, when we look on the vertical tree, we're going to see this great story that we are all part of it, and that all the tribes, all the traditions, all the people were taking on, like the spin of an electron, a different part of this enormous conversation, but that it was weaving together, I really believe, a, a, a story that says, at the end of the day, we're going to look at our ancestors, we're going to look at all tribes and nations, whether we agree or don't agree personally or have an opinion about what we would like or wouldn't like. And we're going to step back and look at it as we would art and understand that, wait a minute, the creation possibility here was so rich and so deep, we didn't want to just ask it in one context. We wanted to ask it in all these contexts. But finally, when we stand together, each a book, each with our tradition, I'll say, I honor you, brother. I honor you, sister, because you've carried part of this story. I can't. May I be worthy of the part of the story I carry for you, because after all, we're family, and you're a hero. I'm a hero. You endured, and we humans have had it so hard. People talk about where they're getting, but, you know, it's, it's hard to be human. It's really painful, and we have to come to terms with that, because it's not certain things get you out of the pain. It actually, it's painful on all of it because we miss so much of the true story of who we are because we long for somewhere else or something else or something we can't touch or don't know and so we live our lives in waiting and we hope that the future ancestors tell us but the ancestors now say ah you're standing in your roots you're standing on the vertical like a totem pole your face grows out of the face of all those that came before you so with your mouth, with your eyes, your human eyes, your human mouth, your human heart, tell a story worthy of the human heart, the human eye, the human mouth, not just for yourself, but for all time, all generation. And I like that story better. And that's when the ancestors show up. They say, yeah, you're including us. You know, you're not figuring out which one of us was wrong anymore. You're saying, you know what, what a dance. What an amazing dance. Because for all the pain, wow, what beauty, what meaning. What struggle, but what humanity. 
I like that. I really do. I like that. I think that I really look forward to the day where we go, isn't it great to be human? I don't need to be a god. I don't need to be a goddess. I don't need more. I am here. I have put my staff in the earth. I grow as the root of this. And if I die and I just return to the soil, that's fine. You know, I don't need more. I don't need the promise of more. This is it. And I think that's going to be... I think we know this. We just need to tell ourselves it. That's why I have the gatherings here. It's really to get people to remind each other we're so much more capable and powerful determined by the stories we tell ourselves and we tell one another. And that's why the knowledge of the mother here, she says, I love all my children. I give no one the right to brutalize any of them for any reason. All is energy. There are no evil atoms. If you don't like the stories you're telling, tell better stories. Begin with the story you're telling you about who you think you are. I love you. You are creation. You are whole and holy. And you're finding your way home. Whoa!